Hi everyone, I'm Rocky and today in this session, I'm going to discuss with you the question number 12 and it's on page number 225 of chapter number 7, Equilibrium. So let's see what the question is all about and then we'll look forward for the solution. So the question is, a mixture of 1.57 mole of nitrogen, 1.92 mole of hydrogen and 8.13 mole of Ammonia is introduced in a 20 liter reaction vessel at 500 Kelvin. At this temperature, the equilibrium constant Kc for the reaction is, this particular reaction is 1.7 into 10 raised to power 2. Is the reaction mixture at equilibrium? And if not, what is the direction of net reaction? So, uh, we have to give the answer of the two questions. Number one, is the reaction mixture at equilibrium? Number two, if not, what is the direction of the net reaction? Fine. So, let's move for the solution. See, the reaction which is given to us is, the given reaction is, N2 gaseous state mean plus rise of H2 gaseous state mean which is in the equilibrium with rise of ammonia which is in also in the gaseous state. See this is the reaction which is given to us. Now the concentration of the various species which is given to us is concentration of various species is देखिए जो N2 की concentration है वो क्या दी हुई क्या है हमारे पास में 1.57 divided by में 20 mole per liter C concentration की क्या unit होती है moles per liter होती है हमारे पास में moles दिया हुआ है nitrogen gas का and then they have told us कि these all the mixture was introduced in a 20 liter reaction vessel. So obviously, if I have concentration of nitrogen gas, so it would be 1.57 divided by 20 mole per liter. Same is with hydrogen. The concentration of hydrogen gas is equal to 1.92 divided by 20 mole per liter. And of what we say ammonia, the concentration of ammonia is equal to 8.13 divided by 20 mole per liter. So these are the concentration of various species which is given in the question. Now we'll move for calculating out the reaction quotient. Fine. So the reaction quotient so reaction quotient QC is what? So QC is equals to NH3 square divided by N2 in the gaseous state and H2 having stoichiometric coefficient 3. Now, so we will be substituting these uh, values of concentration in this particular equation of reaction quotient and then we will be calculating the value of reaction quotient. Please note down these all the things which I have written on the board then I will be moving further for calculating the value of QC that means reaction quotient. Okay, so reaction quotient QC is equal to NH3 having stoichiometric coefficient 2 divided by N2 then H2 having stoichiometric coefficient 3. Now substituting these values, NH3 kya, kya concentration tha? NH3 kya concentration tha? 8.13 divided by 20 square divided by N2 ka kya concentration tha? It was 1.57 divided by 20 whole square or H2 ka kya concentration tha? It was 1.92 yaha par square nia aega, square yaha aega 1.92 divided by 20 square. So, jo aapko calculate karenge aur aapko jo answer milega it would be 2.4 into 10 raised to power 3. So, the reaction quotient for the equation is 
What is the value of Kc given for the reaction? So Kc equilibrium constant ki jo value hai, it is 1.7 into 10 days to power 2. So you can see over here ki Qc is not equal to Kc. Dek sakte ki jo Qc ki value hai hai reaction quotient ki wo nahi hai equal iske equilibrium constant hai. Since the value of Qc is not equal to Kc, therefore um, the reaction, uh, therefore uh, what we say, this question का जो answer है, is the reaction mixture at equilibrium? I would say, since QC is not equal to KC, therefore the reaction mixture is not at equilibrium. Since QC is not equal to KC, therefore the reaction mixture, therefore the reaction mixture is not at equilibrium okay for the next part of the question if not what is the direction of the net reaction Now, aapko pata chal gaya hai ki since the reaction mixture is not at equilibrium then we have to answer ki what is the direction of the net reaction theek hai moreover we also know that we also know कि QC is greater than KC. देख सकते हैं QC की value greater than KC की. Therefore the direction of the reaction will be in the reverse phase. ठीक है? Therefore the reaction proceed. Therefore the reaction proceed in reverse <coughs> direction. Okay? So this was all about this question and I hope there won't be end out regarding the solution which I have given to you on the board. And moreover, do not forget to watch the next video for the next question of this chapter and do subscribe. Till then, take care and goodbye.